So this poem uh, is called Memories. I wrote it two years ago. It's about my father who died April 14th. On Sunday, it will be six years. Uh, I've only read this poem once in the past year because it's very difficult for me to read. So bear with me. I'm forgetting your memory. Crystal clear outlines of days once carved into my being are fading far away. The blurred lines and fleeting moments, conversations become sentences. Sentences, words, words, smiles. Friday night movies and Chinese dinners have been replaced with single acts of love. A pound, a hug, a kiss. No elaborate stories play out anymore with you and me as main characters, Batman and Robin, finding trouble and making merry. <coughs> no days spent together in blissful ignorance of what is to come remain in my mind. The once vivid image of your face has been distorted. Lost. We made into a superficial fantasy of the being more than a man, more than human, but not with you. I don't remember you speaking. Your voice has been lost to me, stolen away Indiana Jones style right under my nose, leaving behind your words repeated in my voice. Your touch has been replaced with feelings of loneliness. Not on my skin, but far deeper below. My soul aches on cold days, late at night, alone in silence without you. All I can remember is how your thumb fell limp in my hand as I uttered grandiose promises in a cold, lifeless room to a cold, lifeless corpse, and I recognized for the very first time that my long, Skinny fingers and big hands resembled yours exactly. Except mine were born and yours were not. Christmas mornings have been crushed into a single image of you sitting in your mother's wicked chair, boxers in a white tee, leaning forward, smile on your face, happy to see your sons light up because of your gifts. But I've forgotten if this actually happened. What Christmas, if any, did you feel this joy or have I dreamt it like almost everything else about you to try to dry my tears and quench the fire in my belly that makes it hard to breathe? I'll never know because I'm forgetting. Fantasizing instead of remembering, dreaming, not seeing, your image is leaving me. The way your body moved. Your hair looked in the morning. And you hugged me. Encouraged me. I'm losing it. I can't remember. It's not even been six years what will happen after ten. Twenty? Will you be lost to me forever? Because someone once told me, you may never have him again, but you'll always have his memories. But that was a lie, and if I don't have him or my memories, what nothingness am I left with? What will be the water to the fire in my stomach? What will fill my veins with ambition? Because my voice doesn't do your words justice. My pictures don't show how your presence brought life into the room. My memory doesn't make my heart beat faster when I try to remember your laugh. And I have trouble hearing you say I'm proud. And on the days when I need to hear those words more than anything, it's like I'm trying to catch air. I keep coming up with nothing. Those moments, they multiply fast as rabbits and their kids' pain and guilt are real brats, but I'm always stuck with them. They chase me around and cry out for attention, and when I finally give in, I get no rest, no silence for my ears, or love for my heart. I'm forgetting me. Left with oversized, oversized sweatshirts and undersized shoulders, clinging to your clothes, 
hoping for your touch, but afraid that if I grab too hard, I'll lose your smell forever. So I'm afraid of your closet. The door closed shut to keep your sanctuary protected, praying your essence will somehow be trapped beneath folded jeans and stuffed into pockets, but deep down I know I'm a fool, and your smell is silently sneaking away like my memory. So what should I do? I know I'm probably wasting my breath when I say this, but I'll say it anyway. Pops, come home. Because I need you now. I can't turn back the hands of time, but you're being stolen away every second I wait. Papa, come home and fill my heart with love again. Come take your sweatshirts back. They don't fit me at all. Come back and say I'm proud of you, son. You're more than the man I expected you to be. Pops, come back. My mama needs you. Your sons need you. I need you. Because I'm forgetting your memory.